Well, interferon remains a key question in the model proliferative of neoplasms. Both the ESMO guidelines and now the NCCN guidelines in the US, which I chair, have interferons as an important line of therapy. Uh, a potential choice is frontline therapy for polycythemia vera, uh, and an option for essential thrombocythemia, yet it is not registered in any of those countries. So the randomized phase three data is really quite impactful. Here at this EHA, uh, my colleagues present the results of the PROUD PV study, which is a long acting interferon of AOP2014 versus hydroxyurea in upfront patients with polycythemia vera. Now, the results within one year show that the ability to control high counts, one level of control, are fairly equivalent. But what's interesting at this meeting, my colleague Jean Jacques Kilajan presents that in their additional analysis, they were able to see that there may be some selectivity of the AOP2014 uh, molecule for the, for the clone versus just a generic uh, myelosuppression, uh, and that there may be a beneficial resultant decrease in allele burden on that basis. So again, there's been an interest long term that interferons may be more selective uh, reduction in clonal burden in patients with MPNs, that it might lead to better outcomes in five or 10 years. So it's of great interest uh, as we try to determine where does it fit in the treatment paradigm.